What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you three different ways to use Google Search Console to improve your rankings and drive more search engine clicks. So if you can see here, we're looking at six months of data for my website beachfronttocore.com and over the last six months, compared to the previous six months, according to Google Search Console, I've been able to add over 10,000 additional clicks to my website. So I've been using these three strategies to really help me do that. So let's get into some of the strategies and go through them. So first things first, incorporate long tail keywords naturally into your content. The best way to do that is to find your pages that are already ranking and find the keywords that are ranking for that page. So let's come over to our uh, Google Search Console and let's just look at the filter option here. And then we're going to be doing last three months and we're going to click on apply. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is we're looking at the last three months of data right now. I have total clicks and total impressions. And as I scroll down here, you will see my pages. So I'm looking at all of these different pages here and I like to look by impressions. So we're looking at which pages are getting the most impressions. And what I like to do is click on one of the pages that I know I can improve. Let's just use tropical bedding sets right here as an example. So if I click here on tropical bedding sets, that will open up this page and you can see we've been getting some pretty consistent performance from this page. And one of the things you can do is look at average position. So if you see 12.8, what that means for this individual page with a 12.8 position, we definitely have some areas of improvement for some of the current search terms that we're ranking for for this page. So we have this page up here in our filters and now what we want to do is click on queries so we want to look at which search terms people are actually searching that are driving traffic to this page one of the things that can be really helpful look at search terms by impressions and what you're trying to find are any of the different keywords here that are getting a lot of impressions that where maybe your average position isn't that strong what we want to do is we want to incorporate some of these different keywords naturally into our pages so one of the things I may not have on my page is something like tropical bed spreads. So Google may automatically have me ranking for that keyword because it's a synonym to tropical bedding, but it will only help me if I make sure that I have this keyword added to my page. Now what you really wanna do, you'll see there's 497 keywords here. You wanna pull out relevant keywords and then use them naturally within your content. So the very first thing, incorporate those long tail keywords naturally into your content. So if I come over to my page for my tropical bedding sets, I need to make sure that within my product category description, I'm using a lot of these different keywords. The other thing that we can do is make sure that I have some additional content at the bottom of the page going over different types of tropical bedding sets people can purchase, different themes, different colors. Basically, a lot of different questions people may have about tropical bedding before they ever make a search term. What we're trying to do is we're trying to optimize our pages for these individual search queries. So when Google looks at our page, they're going to say, okay, this page here ranks really well for this keyword because they include a lot of these keywords right within their content naturally. And then what they also do is going over to number two, you can find ideas for new content using keywords from low click through rate pages or using low click through rate keywords from your existing pages. So let's come back over here. And what you're gonna see right here is we're looking for keywords with a lot of impressions. This is where you can incorporate click through rate in here as well. What we're doing is we're looking for keywords with a lot of impressions. So we have impressions right here. And then here is our click through rate. Something like tropical bedding set, zero clicks on 574 impressions compared to tropical comforter sets, which has 12 clicks on 540 impressions. So what we wanna do is make sure that we're optimizing for this keyword much better than we currently are doing. The other thing that we can do is something right here like tropical comforter, comforter sets, tropical, tropical comforters. Even though I'm getting a lot of impressions, a good click-through rate for this keyword, one of the things I wanna do is make sure that I have a separate page on my website specific to tropical comforters. It's a type of bedding. So what I could do is make sure things like tropical comforters, as we scroll down here, tropical bed sheets, tropical duvet cover, tropical quilt sets, tropical quilts, all of these are going to be separate pages I need to create on my website. And then what I need to do is put those types of bedding onto those pages. So coming over here to number two, finding ideas for new content, or in my case, finding ideas for new product category pages, what I can do is try to find using low click-through rate keywords, and then also using keywords that I know I can optimize my website better for just by creating better content for those keywords. So let's come back over here to Google Search Console. We'll look at one more example. Now, before I go over the next example, I wanna announce something for Surfside PPC. 
I recently enabled membership for my channel. It's $2.99 a month, and I will be growing niche websites through my membership. Nothing will change on the Surfside PPC YouTube channel, but if you're interested in growing niche websites, if you're interested in affiliate marketing, I will be offering exclusive videos in my membership section all about the different niche websites I have, including a website like Beachfront Decor. So if you're interested in how I built that, please join my membership. If you're not interested, no problem at all. So let's come back over here and back into our performance. Let's look at a different page. Okay, so we'll scroll down here. Google Search Console is going very slow compared to every other website I'm on right now. Let's look at, so right now we're looking at search queries. We want to click on our pages over here because what we're trying to do is we're trying to find search queries for individual pages that we're already ranking for. And what we can do is take something like beach theme bathrooms here or beach theme bedroom ideas. Let's just take something like beach theme bedroom ideas where I can definitely improve this click through rate, hopefully improve this average position. This may be a page that is really good for me to update because obviously it's driving a ton of impressions and a ton of clicks. So we'll open up this page. We're looking at our pages right now and let's go down to our search queries. Okay, so we're looking at our search queries and I generally like to look by impressions. So I like to see what keywords are driving impressions. Now, if we come down here, you can see we have a ton of different keywords here, all pretty relevant for this individual page. One thing I could try is creating a page for ocean themed bedrooms. Let's look at more rows. You can see there's over a thousand keywords here. They're only showing us a thousand, but there's definitely over a thousand. And what I like to do is try to find more keyword ideas by going to this page. Now this one's pretty good, so I don't have too much crossover here, but let's get rid of this page and let's look at bathrooms. Okay, so we're gonna come over here to our beach themed bathrooms page. Okay, so we're looking at our search terms for this page, and one of the things I see right here, coastal bathrooms. So coastal and beach are essentially synonyms. They're very similar keywords. Hard to optimize for both of these keywords, but you'll see things like coastal bathroom ideas, coastal bathrooms. I also have ocean theme bathroom ideas. So ocean theme bathroom up here. These are really relevant keywords. So coming over here to number two, two ideas for new content create a list of different designs related to coastal bathrooms, a list of design related to ocean bathrooms. So I will already have my beach theme bathrooms page ranking, and then I will be able to optimize for those keywords much better. And this is where sometimes looking for low click through rates or looking for a high average position, coastal bathrooms, eight clicks, 454 impressions, the 17th spot. Whereas all these other ones are basically in the top five spot besides beach bathrooms. So trying to keep improving this page so we can drive more traffic to it. But what we can do is now create two different pages, one for ocean, one for coastal. And then I'm probably getting nautical in here as well if we scroll down far enough. Now even here, Florida bathroom ideas. That could be an idea that I can optimize for a little bit better. Although I do have the first position here, so it might not be something I need to optimize for. But kind of going through all your keywords and trying to find some different things that you can create new content for. And then in addition to that, taking this list of search terms, scrolling down and saying, you know, using something like this, Florida bathroom ideas, ocean theme bathroom ideas. Now don't do it obviously if I'm uh, creating a new page about ocean theme bathroom, then we wanna really focus our keywords on beach every single place that we can around this article. But things like coastal, bathroom, ba coastal master bathroom ideas. So we're trying to find all of these different keywords where we can really incorporate this into our existing article. And this is where something like rustic beach theme bathroom i could do something in my article about you know three ways to create a rustic beach bathroom three ways to improve your coastal math master bathroom three ways to improve whatever it may be just to incorporate that keyword directly into our content it will allow us to optimize for that keyword much better and when google does view our page they're going to say this this page looks much better now that they're optimizing for all of these long tail keywords as well so what we're essentially trying to do, make sure we have those long tail keywords naturally included into our content and then use some of those long tail keywords like the coastal bathrooms, the ocean bathrooms, things where you know you can take that and make it a unique topic where you now can have three separate pages where you're driving these clicks to rather than just one page and you can optimize for all of those long tail keywords around beach, coastal, and ocean bathrooms which have a lot of search volume. Last but not least, number three. Compare search queries to find pages you need to improve. So the way this works is we're gonna come back over here, we're gonna get rid of our page filter and we're just gonna do clicks and impressions. So let's get rid of our page filter. Okay, so instead of just looking at the last three months, one of the things we can do is look at the last six months of data or rather than looking at the last six, we're gonna click on compare over here and then we wanna compare the last six months of the previous period. 
Okay, so we're looking at our last six months of data here. We're comparing it, and you can see this is where I said I've added 10,000 additional clicks in my last six months compared to the previous six months. So what we're going to do is we are going to scroll down here, and what I like to do is look at impressions, look at my clicks difference. Now over here on the right-hand side, this kind of cuts off a little bit, so you can see impressions difference over on the right-hand side. What I like to do is not only see pages that have grown, so if we come over here, a page that has grown is this one with people looking for a specific bed frame. But I also, if we come over here, I like to look at pages that have dropped. Now you are going to see seasonality in here. So if we come over and we look at some of these keywords, a lot of them related to Christmas. So any of the things related to Christmas, that's where we say, okay, that's just seasonal. We don't need to worry about improving these pages right now, but hopefully next Christmas season, we can optimize for these a little bit better. Now what we can do is we can say, okay, things like coastal rugs, coastal coffee table. So this, my clicks has been basically almost cut in half. My impressions have been cut. So this is an area where it's like, okay, we need to improve whatever pages these are that are being mapped to these specific keywords. So one of the things that I like to do is look at some of these specific keywords here and try to figure out how we can improve so we can get back on track for some of these different impressions. So what we can do is something like coastal bedroom furniture. This is a very popular keyword for me and I used to get a ton more traffic from this keyword. So what I like to do is look at this and then we'll scroll down and I like to look at what page was ranking for this keyword or what pages were ranking for this keyword because we're trying to find the main page where this keyword is sending traffic to. So right here, coastal bedroom furniture, it's a product category page. If we scroll down here, I also have a blog post type page about coastal bedroom furniture. So what we can see here sometimes if we're looking at some of these different pages, so the clicks difference to this product category page has actually improved. The clicks difference to this blog page has decreased and you're seeing my impressions are going towards my product category page. What I essentially try to do is use blog articles to kind of enhance my product category pages and that has been kind of a newer strategy for me over the last several years. I used to be really focused on creating blog post style blog posts that would basically list a ton of different products for sale. Going the product category route is much better for this type of website. So what you'll see is clicks. So of the last six months versus the previous six months. So what we can see is clicks have increased here. Clicks have decreased here, but we're not seeing as much of an increase for this page as we are seeing a drop for this page. Same thing with our impressions difference. So you're going to see impressions across the board are pretty much going down. So we want to make sure we're improving our impressions. So basically what I need to do, go to this page for coastal bedroom furniture. It's a very popular keyword for me. I want to make sure I'm driving more clicks to this page. So let's look at our average position here. You're going to see last six months, our average position has gotten worse compared to our previous six months, which has also dropped our average click through rate. So what we're trying to do is improve that average position. And this is where looking at some of the different search terms for a page can be really helpful, trying to find which keywords I can optimize for. And then ultimately, sometimes it just comes down to compare search queries to find the pages we need to improve. I need to improve my pages if I want to rank higher for those keywords. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Three different ways to use Google Search Console to improve your rankings. Basically what we're doing is we're looking to compare clicks, impressions for specific keywords over periods of time. And what we're also trying to do is find specific search queries for pages so we can figure out which search queries we can optimize for. Now the goal isn't just stuffing keywords into your content. You wanna naturally incorporate keywords into your content. You wanna come up with new content ideas for keywords that you know can be unique topics. And then you just need to find search queries to find pages you need to improve. You can combine three and one very easily. You can basically combine all three of these very easily. And by going to Google Search Console, basically doing 30 minutes of research, you can come up with about 10 to 15 things that you can improve about your website. And then ultimately what we're trying to do is increase this number. So every time we're looking at our last six months versus our previous six months, we continuously grow. If you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.